Hello and welcome to our special week of shows coming to you from our Kuala Lumpur Broadcast Centre. More than two decades in power as one of Asia's strongest leaders allowed him to shape modern-day Malaysia. So how does he regard the current turbulent political transition? And more importantly, what role is he playing? We speak with Dr. Mahathir Mohamed. To his supporters, he was a champion of independence and a loyal leader. While his critics claim Malaysia's economic success story came with a high cost, autocratic rule and a loss of civil liberties. But there's no denying that Mahathir Mohamed shaped modern-day Malaysia. Well, politically active since the 1960s and the country's ruler for more than two decades, Dr. Mahathir tackled everything from armed conflict and racial tensions to converting a farming society into an industrialized economic powerhouse. How does this elder statesman of Asia, credited with the modernization of his country, regard the future of his Malaysia and its relationship with its neighbors in the West? Remember, you can join our conversation with your questions and comments. Log on to livestation.com forward slash AJE. Enter the chat room. You can take part. We also welcome your questions on the show by phone. We uh, will uh, get straight to Dr. Mahathir. It's good to have you here, sir. Mm -hmm. you're, you're essentially the father and uh, engineer of modern-day Malaysia, as I mentioned in the introduction there. Now, it, it was built along the idea of supremacy for the Malay race um, over the largely Chinese and Indian minorities. Now, do you foresee a time when uh, the, the concept of Malay supremacy might be gone? There is no Malay supremacy. We agreed among ourselves that we should apportion uh, certain things uh, between us. For example, uh, we knew the Chinese uh, dominated the economy of the country. And to balance that, we need to have a stronger say for the Malays in the political field. But they all come together, and we discuss things, and we agreed on things. There is no such thing as um, uh, catching people for saying nasty things uh, about what we are doing, except that the foreign press, of course, would not believe it. Now, do you, do you see a time, though, when a non-Malay could be running the country? Sure, they can, because the law provides for, there is no provision in the law for a non-Malay uh, not to be able to become the prime minister. But he must have the support of the majority of the people. But if the system is skewed, against the other minority groups or the other ethnic groups, then, then it's impossible. I don't see how it is skewed. It is there in the constitution. And if a person is popular enough, uh, then, of course, uh, he will be chosen. Well, so we had a lot of email questions. I'm going to put some of these to you, if I may, because essentially we let the viewers ask the questions here as much as we can. One came in from uh, Seramban here in Malaysia. Bulbir Singh asks, do you see Malaysia with more interracial domestic problems now than when you left office? Yes, uh, they said that it is good to be much more open, but I think it's a little bit premature. People do not understand uh, what is meant by freedom of speech. They thought that uh, they can go around bashing everybody, and then, of course, you destabilize the country, you cause racial tension. Uh, during my time, it was agreed, not, a f not force, it was agreed between the leaders that sensitive issues should be discussed behind closed doors, basically. So we don't have the kind of uh, heat generated by such, uh, uh, well, such sensitive um, subjects being discussed openly. But isn't there a benefit, if everyone is able to speak openly, that you can have a whole country that can openly debate the issues, perhaps let out some of that steam in the public domain, rather than keep it closeted and have them feel like they're being... And that's uh, a theory. But, you know, people get heated up and they may bash each other. Uh, we don't want that to happen. We want a stable country. And you can see the difference. Now they say that we should be liberal and more open, more transparent. But what happens? Uh, now the races are at loggerheads. They are at each other's throat. Do you think that's because of the more open society or uh, well, other reasons? The, the new government <laughs> claims that it wants a more open society, but it didn't anticipate this kind of discussion. But of course, when you say something is open, people will see their, their interpretation of what is meant by open. We had an email that came in from uh, Albert D. in Malaysia, who says, in all other countries in the world where positive discrimination or affirmative action has been practiced to redress inequality, it has been done to advance the minorities. In Malaysia, the majority are given unfair advantage over other citizens. Why? It's not the question of majority and minority. It's a question of the disparities between the races. 
everybody admits that in this country the Chinese dominate uh, the economy. They are the richest people in this in this country. You can go around and see them living in very very well in this country. They are free. They are able to send their children uh, to study uh, uh, elsewhere because they have the money. But the majority is a poor part of the population, and we need to bring them up so that uh, there is parity in terms of economic well-being. We had an email question that came in from um, Keda Darulaman, I hope I said it correctly, from Farouk Ibrahim, who wrote in saying, there was a negative election outcome for uh, UMNO, the ruling party, after one of its supporters in uh, Penang called some races immigrants and refused to apologize. On top of the bickering and accusations of bribery within UMNO, uh, doesn't this signal that UMNO is headed for even more serious setbacks as it approaches party elections? Uh, yes, it does. It's, uh, it's probably because the handling and the management of UMNO is very bad today. Uh, they do not know how far they can go. They want to be liberal, and yet when people uh, take advantage of liberalism, they are unhappy about it. If you are liberal, then if your people say something nasty, you should treat him as, uh, to get, uh, on the same basis as other races. But when other races are not so liberal, uh, you uh, hold yourself back because you don't want to displease the other races. Now, you left the party. Could you see yourself going back under any circumstances? Well, I will go back, I said, uh, if we have a different uh, leader. This uh, email that came in from Jason Lamb uh, on the internet says, Why do you denounce your own ethnicity, Indian? Wh uh, <laughs> what do you and your son stand to benefit from doing this? I'm not an Indian. I'm a Malay. By, by definition, I'm a Malay. Yes. I live the life of a Malay uh, any more than uh, you can say uh, a, a Hungarian living in Australia is a Hungarian and not an Australian. I think it was reference to some Indian blood in your family on your well, father's side. Well, lots of people have foreign blood in their country. Malaysia is at the crossroads between East and West, and lots of people stop here, they intermarry, but they get assimilated into the local community. Therefore, they are regarded as people of local origin. Now, sir, it seems you're, you're the revival of your uh, sort of uh, influence in politics has come now with the, the advent, the likelihood of uh, um, the Deputy Prime Minister Najib Razak um, taking that Premier position up there. Now, uh, I gather you're also worried, though, that there may be the chance he may not take that position. He may become head of UMNO, the ruling party, but he may not take that position because I think you feel, or you've made the comments that Dr. Badawi might not want to step down. Well, Najib has not uh, shown any, um, well, any sh strength, uh, his, his own strength in the political field. He's more a follower than a leader. He has to change it. At the moment, I have not yet seen him changing this habit of becoming a follower. And ironically, people say that if he does take the position of Premier, it's a return to Mahathirism, an expression that's come I don't up. know what Mahathirism <laughs> is all about. <laughs> I think they mean a stricter it, rule. No, nothing, nothing like that. It is Mahathirism which helped to develop this country, and yet people say that I was responsible for developing the country, the father of development and things like that. Is that Mahathirism or what is? I think in there, the, the reference being made in that respect is that perhaps a more autocratic form of leadership, a tougher kind of it leadership. It's not autocratic at all. It is just being sensible. We have a multiracial country that is uh, prone to, um, to uh, instability. And you see, in other countries, multiracial con uh, com uh, countries do not do so well. But we have done very well. But there are certain limits that we allow ourselves to go. Uh, I have to restrict myself. If you leave me to say anything I like, I'm going to annoy quite a lot of people. Now, it's interesting, the Malaysian politics over the last uh, decade and a half or so has been very tangled with people in favor, falling out of favor. And I wonder how you regard the way that your, your uh, former protege and now more antagonist, Dr. Anwar Ibrahim, has managed to rally the opposition groups. How do you regard that? I don't think he has really the opposition. It is the weakness of the government which uh, benefited him. People just didn't want to support the present ruling party, and they had no choice but to vote for the opposition. If they, they don't vote at all, the ruling party would still rule. Although there's word that, uh, that there's a, a, a wave towards a new Malaysia, and that perhaps even this might include a proper two-party or multi, even multi-party uh, system down the road. Uh, there can be a multi-party system or a two-party system, but at this moment, people are still thinking about their own races, 
not about ideology. So uh, we cannot yet have a two-party system without race being involved. Now, you, you're, still, you're seen as perhaps becoming the kingmaker again, that your, your rise means that you have a lot more influence. Have you found yourself being able to, to speak up more? There was, a, there was a period when you sort of slipped away from public, uh, uh, sort of at least vocal public uh, expression. No, I told myself when I sat down, I wouldn't interfere with the government. And I tried my level best not to interfere with the government, but the government made so many silly mistakes. I made itself so very unpopular that I feel forced to come out and say what I have to say about, uh, because nobody dares to criticize the government. The newspapers only praises the prime minister every day and uh, nothing else. But it was the same under your, uh, under your prime No, mission. no, it's not the same at all. During my time, you can see people criticize me. In fact, people challenge me in a party election I very nearly lost. It's interesting you use the word interfere with the government. So do you see yourself now as interfering with the government? I don't see myself interfering with the government, but I'm interfering with the politics of this nation. If they are just administering, I don't touch that. Would you, could you see yourself uh, having a role in the new government, as you say, if perhaps there's a new leader? Oh, well, I will give my opinion. Even if uh, somebody else becomes a prime minister, if uh, I find something that is uh, uh, worth criticizing, I will do so. I don't care who is going to be the leader. Dr. Mahathir, more questions for you in a moment. We have to take a short break here. We're back with more discussions with Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamed, Malaysia's longest serving prime minister in just a moment. Now, as we pause, let me remind you, you can join the conversation with your questions and comments by logging on to livestation.com and entering the chat room. You can see the debate taking place there. We'll be right back. Tuck it, 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 tuck it,